Hey y'all, uh, so today I am going to show my killer bee how to write a postcard. So when you buy, when you go anywhere Form. and they're going to have, and they're going to have tons of, of mm -hmm. postcards, you obviously they're going to look like this, something like this, something cool and awesome. And the backside, they're going to have something like this. Obviously it says postcard. And then where you're you from and who you're gonna address it to and then of course this is where the stamp is at and obviously you leave this part blank because that's all for the post office but this is the main part where you want to write down your message all right so the first thing <clears throat> we're gonna do is pick out your postcard so have it on my tripod and I'm going to try my hardest to keep it in the view okay so once you pick out your postcard next thing you need to figure out to do is who you're gonna post give the postcard to okay and you can pretty much give it to whoever as long as you have their uh, home address okay so uh, just to um, uh, do a quick cut off right here um, uh, I am going to be showing y'all like like I said how to how to send out a postcard and how to write it down and all that good stuff but I am actually going to use my 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 dad's um, address and probably there's gonna be some people out there that'll be like oh my god you shouldn't be putting your address out there blah 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 um, so this was my choice and I did ask my dad permission and he said yeah go for it and uh, and I'll tell you in a moment why, but just to, for those people, for those Karens out there that are like, oh, you shouldn't be putting your dad, your daddy's information out there, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, bitch, I did. And I can. And I had permission. So there. Okay. Once you have their address, then what I like to do is write their address first <laughs> because, uh, Sometimes I always forget, and uh, so yeah. All right, you write when you write down the address. You always want to write down the person's name. So who's gonna get it is my dad. Um, and then my dad's address they just got in it to a new home six zero eight and then the next line is the city or town where they live at and the state where the city or town is at. And then kind of on oh, right over here, like underneath um, on the far right, Corner, I like to put the zip code right there. I know a lot of people they just have it all in one line But I like to have it just a little bit down so that way the post office people won't get confused I don't know. That's what I always thought And once you have that part done, then you definitely want to write your little message. Sometimes some people write like two or three lines. Um, let's see what my little killer bee wants to write down. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Hi guys. So we're just gonna be writing stuff. Okay. And like I said, right here, right here, this is where you're gonna write your, you know, a couple of sentences or whatever. Oh, and don't forget, this is my partner. Well, they can't see, so yeah, like it. right here, they can see your partner. Yeah. There, so get right there. And then there's his pinata. 
No, it's horse. Pinata, pinata. Right. What's a pinata? Alright, let's just okay. do it. Let's do it. Yeah, you got it right. See, that's pretty cool. And then the last thing you want to do is put a stamp. You pretty much get, uh, as far as what I know, no, like you can get stamps at HB, Walmart, I think at Walmart. Um, obviously, the post office. Uh, oh, I want this one. No, no, you're probably going to have to look around. But when you buy stamps, they're going to be in little booklets. These are the stamp books. And of course, there's all different kinds. Like googie boogie and pirate yeah. chips. You want the pirate chips? Yeah, I don't want any googie boogies. This yep, you put it right on that square. The post card, and then you send it to the post office. Yeah. Isn't that right, Mr. Bobby? And then that's and it. Bianca? So let's go to the post office. Oh, hi, everyone. My name is Mikey. And yeah, we're doing the post bubble. We're taking a break. Yeah, I want you to be punished. Baldy. I went night. Where does one fit the list? Yeah, he writes the llama like Then we're gonna do this one hour straight. You ain't on right? So here's my llama. What? Yep. No, I'm seeing this. And here's all the noodles I have. This noodles. Oh, my butt. And my train. My train. Isn't that right, Baldy? Yes. Yes. And llama? Yes. Okay, I just found the post office. I knew I found I seen it the other day, and then we went we went to go get coffee, and then I couldn't find it. Hello, it was like one block, one more block over. That's why. So anywho, hold on. Let me see. Let me turn this bad boy around real quick. So if you are ever in Port Aransas, this is what it looks like in front of the Port Aransas, Texas, uh, post office, United States Postal Service area. And of course, it has awesome little bays. And just in case that people are like, oh, you're not over there? Yes, motherfucker, I am. So, isn't this awesome? Look, that's the post office. That's how a post office looks like. In case that there's people out there that doesn't still doesn't know, trust me, there's people out there that don't know. Anywho, so if you ever see one of these bad boys right here, uh, let me come on over to one more. Because it'll be a little bit easier. All right. So, if you ever come on to a postal, sorry about the mess, uh, a post box right there, and you want to send out your card or your letter, or whatever, you can always put it in there. And then, if you're like, oh, but I want to make sure that it gets over there on time, if you look, it'll tell you, it'll tell you when they get picked up. Uh, what time that they'll get picked up on each day? Obviously, it's Sunday. Oh shit! Obviously, Sunday doesn't have one, but uh, like all of the information is right here: the time, last location in this area, day, blah 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 blah. So yeah. <sighs> so just always make sure you got your postcard, you got your address. There's my daddy's address. That's um, Mikey wrote the note or the letter hold on god dang it i hate it when it gets like that there we go um your note or whatever you write down your note that's mikey's uh note my my daddy's address and the postcard that is how it's supposed to be obviously the written part the writing can be a little bit neater and then you just slip it on in there there you go you slip it in there and obviously it's it ain't gonna come out because it's like all the way down to the ground. Hold on. And then that's it. That's all you do when you're putting in a postcard. So, oh, come on. All right. So that's how you write a letter or write on a postcard, address the postcard. And then with the, with the postcard, you don't have to have your returning address because, you know, to me, I feel like postcards is just something that's saying, hey, I'm over here and you're not. You know, that's the way I see it. But, um, uh, but I hope y'all like this. Oh, yeah, and also one more thing. One more thing. So, um, the reason why that I picked my dad 
out of anybody else on um, how to ride a postcard is because my dad is literally just like me or I guess you could say I'm just like my dad um, uh, I want mail <laughs> I like to have mail and you know letters and you know respond to people like uh, I've been I've been figuring out all of this uh, YouTube social media and Twitter no not Twitter I don't like Twitter um, TikTok um, stuff and, uh, but my dad doesn't know how to do that. So he is still all into snail mail. And just to give y'all a little background of my dad, he is a, a Vietnam veteran. And uh, my dad had, has had, I don't know what's the word. Well, my dad raised us when we were younger. Um, my biological mother which I just say my real mom uh, she had left us um, back in 97 yeah it was in 97 because I was when I was in seventh grade in Yorktown Texas Wildcat and um, and so anywho, who um, so she had left us and, uh, and uh, you know she never came back even now like I know where she lives I have her phone number she knows well, she knows my phone number, but she she doesn't call me every day. You know, it is that's her thing. But anywho, so when I was in the military, uh, I always wrote letters to my friends, my family, you know, especially my dad. And uh, and I would, you know, I would write down everything. Even when I was in Iraq, I would write to my dad, and uh, you know, of course, my kids by that time. And uh, but you know, my my dad, he's always grateful for snail mail, for getting any kind of mail, you know, but no hate mail. Hate mail's not good. We need to like kind of chill off on that hate mail, you know, or that hate speech. I don't know what's the word nowadays. We're talking shit to each other. That's what I say. We need to stop doing that. You know, we got a new generation popping up and, you know, we don't want to teach them all that anger. But anywho, so yeah, my dad, uh, you know, he, he's, he, he got obviously he got remarried um and my mom which is my stepmother but i call her my mom because she obviously raised us and uh and so it's just them two it's just them two now um they live in warica they moved to warica oklahoma uh some years ago because of my great aunt and my great uncle my tío and tía. um they were the ones that raised us when or helped raise us you know took care of us when um my real mom had left us and also you know yorktown is such a small town everybody knew everybody's business and uh and so like this the next day when i went to school they're like oh what happened what happened you know and kids were such bullies that's why i was always in in uh in the office I didn't take shit from anybody. But anywho, um, yeah, so they've been married since, what, 98? Since 98? Yeah, I think so. And, um, and, uh, um, they, uh, yeah, so, uh, my, my mom is my stepmom, but I just call her my mom because she's the one that's always raised me. She's the one that raised me and my sister. Well, my sister came back to Victoria to my real mom later on in a couple of years or so. Because my sister's just crazy like that. But we'll talk about her later. So, um, but yeah, so my, so my dad, you know, like I said, he's the one that raised me and my sister. You know, so he raised two preteens, two preteen girls, and, um, and then my brother, which is my half brother, uh, which is obviously not my dad's real son, but you know, like I said, my dad's raised us all. So, like I said, my uh, so yeah, my dad raised two two preteen girls and a son that wasn't even his. And you know, with all with everything, you know, that happened back then, you know, we learned a lot. We learned how to survive. Um, uh, 
And I think that's why, you know, I always stayed close to my dad. Um, I, you know, everywhere my dad went, I went. My dad was the one that taught me how to work on vehicles. Um, he, <laughs> he actually encouraged me to read books that were not age appropriate for me <laughs> because I was a horrible reader. And everything that the teacher told me to read, I, I just couldn't get into it. I just, I didn't understand. I wasn't very comprehensive on it. So then my cousin, she like gave me some VC Andrews books. And this is the reason why I love VC Andrews. And, uh, but my dad read the books first. My dad's like a super fast reader. He can like literally read a whole big ass book like that in like a day, you know? And, um, and so he would read it first and then I would read it. And then any questions that I had, of course, he would answer it. And, um, uh, or if there was any, um, words that I couldn't sound out, you know, he would help me, he would help me sound it out. And, um, and I remember when I did my first, my first, um, book report, my teacher was like, what? is this oh my gosh my my reading teacher my seventh grade reading teacher she was horrible i'm glad i don't remember her name but she was fucking crazy and um she was like you're not supposed to be reading this what is wrong with you blah 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 and i man and you know what i was like so happy that i finished a book by myself and i was actually able to tell her what happened in the book and man she put me down i was so sad and 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 uh and I think I had detention because I always had detention for anything and everything. But I want to say I had det detention with her. And then when my dad found out I had detention, because uh, we lived right, n right in front of the the schools, and uh, so obviously I wasn't at home. So um, uh, they, when he went over there to go pick me up. The te obviously the teacher was there and then like she tried to talk to my daddy all crazy too and my dad's fucking crazy like y'all think i'm crazy my dad is like super crazy and he was like you don't talk to my daughter like that and and whatever she wants to read just let her read it even if it's not even age appropriate who cares as long as she's reading just let her read it and i'm reading it first i know what she's reading you don't have to tell me what she's reading you don't have to tell me what it's about i know what it's about because i just read it and then, of course, there's some cuss words and this and that. Obviously, he made my, my teacher cry, which was cool for me. And uh, and every once in a while, she would, you know, could, within the year, she continued to bust my chops and this and that. And, you know, I didn't tell my dad because, you know, we, I was already, he already had enough problems with me <laughs> at school as it is. So I didn't want to say anything else. So, um, so yeah, that, uh like I said, I, I've always been there for my dad and, and, you know, and, and I know my dad always taught us, you know, to, uh, do, you know, do what's right, you know, whatever that you have, help somebody out, you know, just help people out, you know, cause you never know, you might need help. And, uh, and I, and I guess that's why I've always had that in my head. You know, every time I did, my dad needs something, I'm there. And of course, as I got older, I would, I would, <laughs> I would kind of, Give, not give him a lecture, but just kind of talk to him. Well, this is that, da, 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 da. but I would still help. Him. Eventually, I would help him. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, m my dad, you know, he's always been there. He's, you know, he's a good guy. He tries. He tries what he has. You know, he tries what he knows. Um, you know, we all make mistakes, and and uh, you know, just admitting that we make mistakes is is the first step. And um, but yeah, uh, I, and you know what, that's one thing that I do, I would like to do is try to write letters more. So yeah. And, um, and you know, like I said, my dad just moved into this house. I mean, he's always lived in, he's lived in, like I said, he's lived in Aurora a few years, but this new house, the address that we just sent, that we just mailed out, uh, he just got this house. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything goes well on that. Um, but yeah, you know, y'all want to write to my dad and, you know, saying, Hey, what's up? And, you know, 
thank you for serving our country. Uh, thank you for, you know, raising such a fine young woman. Ah, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, just whatever. Or if you just want to talk to somebody, you know, my daddy's there. He'll listen to you. He knows how to talk. He knows how to talk your, ear, your eardrums out. I guess that's what I'm doing right now, I reckon. So, uh, but anywho, yeah, so, uh, I like I said, I wanted to, to share this. because, And also, there's also kids that are out there that they don't know how to write a letter. Like I said, when I, when I was in, I want to say in second grade, when we started, no, because first grade, we were learning cursive. Uh, no, 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 first grade, we were learning, like, regular or we already knew how to write, but we were writing a little bit better. Second, second, we were like fucking awesome in our handwriting, but I still wasn't. Third grade is when we started learning, doing cursive. So yeah, second grade, you know, we were, they taught us how to write a letter, uh, you know, how to do this and how to do that, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. Um, but, you know, there's kids out there that don't know how to write a letter. Or a postcard. You know, postcards are the be are the easiest things to do. All you gotta do is just write the shit you want to say, send, and then write the address of who you want to send the shit to, and then make sure you have your little post stamp, and then you're good to go. But yeah. So anywho, um, I hope you like. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. What all the YouTuber says, and I'll see y'all in the next. Peace.